I work in brewing, so I'm in the department where we actually make the beer. And he works in packaging where they actually put it in the cans and the boxes and stuff. Being from Houston, storms come, you know, so often. You know, us hearing that a big storm's coming, if, you, if you're from Houston, you've heard that many times. But no one thought it was gonna be like that. This is the strongest storm to hit the Texas coast since Carla in 1961, and it's just getting started. They're calling this an almost unfathomable amount of rain. Peak wind gusts of 132 miles per hour. One of the strongest hurricanes to hit the U.S. in over 20 years. We are talking about 40 inches of rain. Quite honestly, I'm, I'm fearful of what we're going to see. I grabbed like a couple of change of clothes for me, for him, and for the baby, and I'm like, we need to leave. So we jump in his truck, but we couldn't even, we made it out of the neighborhood, but we couldn't even make it to the freeway. Unbelievable, desperate situation. Anheuser-Busch is lending a helping hand as part of the relief efforts. They're turning some of their operations from beer to water. We have an entire plan that we follow leading up to an event like this, um, so we were prepared to stay here. We have, you know, T-minus sheets that take us through the whole process of things that we need to be doing to prepare, but we were not expecting the sheer destruction that we ended up uh, facing. The nation's fourth largest city is underwater this morning. Parts of Texas might be uninhabitable for weeks, even potentially months. My heart goes out to the people. Uh, you know, in Texas that are going to go through a very difficult situation. All we had was literally the clothes that were on our back and a few bottles of water. And it's triple digit heat, so you're dying of thirst. As an adult, you, you can take a little bit more, you know. But when you have a three-year-old, you're scared because he, he has to stay hydrated. He, you know, there's no telling how much he can take. As the aftermath of Harvey uh, really struck home, a couple of different communities actually reached out and said, hey, you know, the community, we're running low on water. Is there, do we have any at the brewery? And of course, we had quite a, a large amount here on site. We had very limited options from a, a transportation standpoint. So it's either they go without or myself and a few other colleagues jump in a pickup truck and, and fill it up with water. Um, so uh, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> We had basically a pallet of water on a pickup truck, and we came to Brett and Chris's home. I knew Michelle works at the brewery. I knew her name, I knew her face, but I really didn't know anything about her. Brett and Chris had lost everything. It's hard to see another mother in that kind of a situation. I don't know, I just felt like if there was anything we could possibly do, to help Brett and Chris and you know all of the other families that were impacted by this, that it was something that we needed to do. When they showed up with the water, it's almost like you know the the ice cream truck in the neighborhood, and all of the kids are flocking to the ice cream truck. That's pretty much what it was, you know, and smiles on their faces when they're leaving because I mean, you know, you need good clean water in a time like that. They went well beyond what I feel like a person should have had to go for us. I can't ever talk about it without crying. <laughs> Brett and I have a lot in common. You know, our children are the same age. We are the same age, you know, we're a lot alike. It ended up turning into a friendship that has, you know, continued until now. I hope she knows that if you need anything ever in your life and I can help, please call me. Because I mean, it's just, you know, I want to be there for her the way she was there for us.